top of the morning, y'all, is coffee. Tepping back in, man. And it was already crazy enough. Just mind-blowing that the Eminem Benzino beef jumped back off in 2024. Like, real talk. It's wild as fuck that this ish went down the way that it did. The beef is back. A new diss track. And the timing of it all was fucking crazy, as I've been pointing that out with my commentary off rip. Like, I swear, man. I, I Like, these two don't fuck with each other. But some cats were commenting, like, yo, coffee, they're pulling a play. I don't believe it, right? No fucking way. But I'm just saying the timing of it was absolutely bonkers. The fact that Zeno was doing a, I'm over this ish. Uh, like mature type way of looking at the Eminem beef like he really seemed totally done with it and then the Eminem track drops all the possibilities think of that that all these years later Zeno does that and then the M this is him like the timing is crazy but since then of course we saw Zeno drop his vulturous track you know going in with the rap Elvis ish and all that and a couple dudes, you know, from uh, Team Shady, formerly signed with Shady Records, dropping diss tracks, getting at Zeno. But man, this ish is just going too far now. I don't know if y'all seen this. Let's get into it. Bro, let me tell you, his fans, bro, his fans like him because he's white. They don't fuck with us. Let me try to make fuck him and them. Uh, yeah, I yeah. dusted Eminem. Rap Elvis, bitch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. How about that? <laughs> how, about, how, come he ain't answer, how come he ain't answer me? I'll beat the shit out of him with these. Eminem I'm, or Machine Gun Kelly? Fuck Eminem, bro. <laughs> so, so which one? Fuck Eminem, so bro. Which one? Fuck, fuck both of them, bro. <laughs> so guess, fucking Cassidy will kill Eminem in a battle rap, bro. Right, Why bro. do y'all give Eminem so much props? Why? Why do y'all like Eminem because he's white? Is that yeah, it? What do you mean? Nah, like, what? And this is it. And this is it. Fuck that. We don't listen to that in the hood. Okay, so Zeno's feeling himself, right? He's going in. He's talking his ish. He bodied him. How come Eminem ain't responded well? Come on, Ben Zeno. Like, I ain't even trying to ish on the man, but he ain't going to respond to that, right? I'm not seeing that in the cards. You heard him too. They were doing the quick time with slime. Y'all know I drink champs the quick time with slime. Biggie or Pac? You got to pick one if you feel like in any question with the two answers. If you can't pick one and you got to just both, you got to do a shot. <laughs> he, they, Eminem or MGK, he said, fuck them both. Fuck them both. Right? He's going in. He's talking wild, greasy. And I'm just like, damn, man. Like, where all this confidence come from, Benzino? You know? Come on, man. This beef, you got body all that time ago. Now you hear... 2024 and i get it it's ludicrous that the the beef is back benzino didn't want that again the timing go back check it out he did his interview he was on some cool ish some respectful ish and then it went the way it went the, the this drop so he responded but this is wild he's just talking super greasy <laughs> people are saying yo what was in this man's cup paul masson i'm saying e and j right he's like i'm tripping e and j got my mind flipping comment y'all what what uh what alcohol used to have you on one where it could go there if you drank that or has it been multiple ones you know what i'm saying uh vodka like to do the clear alcohols get you all fucked up or you know that paul masson some yak right honey um e and j or 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 what about the bootleg e and j the christian brothers ugh I, they used to have a deal where you could get like two or three bottles of that ish for next to nothing at the liquor store, man. We would be like, yo, E&J? Like, which we're already bugging drinking an E&J, but we're like, nah, we're going to take it a step lower and have more, right? More bottles, more alcohol, even cheaper, and uh, we're going to get saucy. But for real, Benzino is just going off, and that's what I pointed out in my other video, man, is Benzino is a very, very emotional dude. We've seen it from him many times. If you saw the body cam footage at the school you know which i get why he was mad i mean he did have a traffic warrant but the way they flucked with him and all that i would have been mad if i was Zeno as well and then of course the body cam footage with the breakup man that was ugly you know but again i'm sure some of us have been there before heartbreak breaking up with the wifey the the police are called on you her new dudes there like come on man that's that's a tough situation but for real that's just how it goes with benzino He'll, he'll, he'll fly off the rails.
from time to time and he'll often walk it back. A few moments later. I've got nothing against some of them. I've got nothing against some of them they can rap. But I care about us more. I don't want to go through, I don't want to talk about it no more. I don't want to, 22 years, every time I do an interview, they ask me about Eminem. The fuck you want me to do? Come on, man. My daughter came into the industry figuring that, hey, I gotta be cool with Eminem because everybody's against my dad. You think this shit is fucking cool? No, oh, man. Ooh. We're failing as a people. I don't hate Eminem. I don't know him to hate him. I don't hate white people. I'm tired of this shit, man. It's just too much. I don't want to be the bad guy. I got an eight-year-old son that I dropped off at school this morning. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm all right. I don't want my DMs filled with... I've had nine pages knocked down a million. White people think Eminem is the best rapper ever. Come on, man. 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 Come on, but it's at least face to face to meet each other. If, if that was to happen, would you give him a five? Fuck it, man. I hug him. Man, so that was fucking crazy. That was beyond walking it back. That was a full-blown mental breakdown, man. Like, this Eminem beef, you can tell, has really weighed on Benzino. And I got to point out, I've been saying this in my recent videos, man. There is a part of the Eminem fan base, okay, that is not hip-hop fans. They don't know nothing about rap music. They purely put Eminem on this pedestal. Don't love hip-hop. Don't love the culture. Don't love the art form, the music, really. They just are on some, like, pumping up Eminem. And um, a lot of them are on some racial, racist-ish. And I, I mentioned it before, um, as is DM flooded with a lot of really hateful flucked up racist ish from from that portion of the fan base Zeno gets the same thing and that's what he was saying originally on that um no jumper interview that I was saying where the timing was crazy like he pulls up trying to be cool after all these years yeah that is just behind me it was wild you know things really went there and I, I, he took accountability with the source like yo I flucked up the source I wasn't supposed to do it like that man the source was like at one point in time called the hip hop bible right the, the, like the source was serious the source was dope the source awards all that and you know Benzino getting too personal with it all he flucked up uh, a beautiful thing and he admitted that as well but he pointed out that um, after all this saying he wanted to sit down with M he, he brought up that portion of the Eminem fans that, that say that type of ish and that's what he was saying is majority of the things that have set him off over the years was that toxic sector of the fan base and uh, it's not a big portion of the fans I don't think you know what I mean like and I wouldn't even go as far as to say all stands like Eminem stands are on that ish no that's like there's hip-hop fans you know what i'm saying there's some hip-hop fans that fuck with eminem some that don't there's um stands who you know like look at eminem as their rap god and all that but still respect other mcs and everything like that but i'm talking about just some other ish like i said some just really like racist trolls that uh like eminem on some other ish and you know are out there putting toxic and poison into the atmosphere into the blogosphere and saying fucked up things but i mean at the end of the day everything the the the, the fans the toxic fans the interviews the beef the fact that the source went under um just everything that's happened with benzino you know what i'm saying in a sense he's taken a lot of l's taken took in whatever right a lot of l's but I, I i don't know it's like he's just worn out with this ish at this point man i mean hey, can you guys believe that like i said he'll fly off the rails and walk it back he was flying off the rails like you know he was on a sipping e and j got my mind flipping and then next thing you know this man is crying and you heard him too mentioning his daughter like she was trying to get in the game and she was like oh i guess i gotta be cool with eminem and then m disses her and 
I don't know, it's just crazy to see Benzino brought to tears. I know a lot of people are going to diss him and say, yo, Zeno, you're pathetic, B, you act like a tough guy. And a part of me will say that, but a part of me also will say, man, this is uh, this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. And uh, someone commented on my one Eminem video, too, and was, like, really not feeling that Eminem dissed Coil Ray. They thought that that was wild corny and the fact that, like, Eminem has beefed with females mariah carey and such like what do y'all think about that um and what do you guys just think about this situation as a whole like benzino just full-blown meltdown mode i didn't watch the whole episode for those that did tap in you know what i'm saying i gotta watch that thing asap how long did the episode go after all this but it's crazy man that you know like benzino just cannot take that he's when it comes to benzino the different things he may have done in his life right the source different stuff like that he his name is just synonymous with eminem and not in a good way for taking the l but it's wild to see that he also flipped back to saying what he was saying originally before that armageddon part two drop like i was saying with that crazy timing where he wanted to sit down with eminem and um you know like he's just done with this ish and will eminem do that I don't think so. Let me know if you think that he will. But man, oh man, he's talking about uh, disses and Eminem fans. I remember when As Is, you know, was doing the whole January 20th situation. Um, he was beefing with a lot of Eminem fans that were like content creators and made music and they were dropping diss tracks. Like there were fans that, and fans that rap and, f and fans that are uh, like reactors, like that No Life Shack dude and all that. And um, a lot of these dudes we're, we're dropping diss tracks aimed at uh, Benzino. You know what I mean? I'm just pointing them out because I don't think Eminem is going to respond, right? Uh, but if he were to, chopping up him crying and stuff, someone would probably throw that on the diss. I wonder if we'll see one of these Eminem fan uh, content creators do that. So again, hit the comments with your thoughts. Like the video, sub up to the channel if you're new over here on Coffee Talk where we talk music, news, sports, and more. But with all this coming up, a old, another old clip is trending back in the blogosphere on the timeline. I remember um, me and my homies, we ran down on Benzino in Miami. That was, I think that was the year when um, Shug got shot. That was on my ignorant shit. We ran down on Benzino, me and my mans. And we was like, yo, I'm like, yo, why you always put me in a magazine, put me in a magazine, talk about M.A. Black. He was, he, he, he kind of, he wasn't soft, he ain't back down. But then we was like, yo, we give you a pass. I was like, yo, you want it? He was like, you, he was acting like he didn't. We was like, you want the pass? And he was like, yeah, I want the pass. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, that's old shit. I don't want to, you know, go back and forth with niggas online. I don't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? But the beef with Benzino and Eminem, I don't know what it was. It was like, he was just always mad at him. And I looked at it like, yo, this is a dude that is looking out for us. Fuck what color he is. He can fucking spit bars. He got fucking platinum records. He's humble as fuck. He don't bother nobody. Man, Tony Yayo. He, he gave he kept it a buck though. He said uh, Zeno wasn't backing down. He wasn't acting soft. I remember um, Ob Trice got at him on um. You guys remember on that? Welcome to Detroit City. He said, Yo, you see me in Puerto Rico and shake my hand. Now I'm a buster. Y'all remember that? Eminem said, um, Get on a track, this and us, kissing fifties ass. And he said something like. Uh, you were shake a week ago. You were shaking Ob Trice's hand. Now he's a buster. What the flux up with that? Yeah, get on the track. This and us kissing fit these ass. That joint went hard. I would never claim to be no Ray Benzino, 83 year old fake Pacino. But um, man, I lost my train of thought. I had a reason for bringing up uh that diss. Y'all remember too? Uh, D12, one of uh the D12 members dissing Benzino back then. <laughs> said am I, only, am I the only one that thinks that he looks like a banana with braids and clothes on and speaking of obviously yayo g unit eminem right and um y'all heard me just mention d12 uh we got another, another clip to run that d12 is mentioned in the truth. no i'm speaking the truth but yeah i am when, when you know niggas supposed to be respectful of who turn the lights on wrong or right what, what, what the 50 right? million? Who, no. did, who did M put on? G Unit. G Unit. D12. Slaughterhouse. Joe Buttons and them. Back. And Griselda. Come on, nigga. Niggas be acting like niggas are mad at the white boy because 
He's the black hockey player. Come on, nigga. Mm. Yo, his music Yo. don't play in the clubs. So don't make him the go. What happened right. to Balls, nigga? I never have an issue. What happened to Balls? He was the first rapper to shout out to Because I fuck with Eminem since Renegade. Mm. And that nigga put no, me on. Since Renegade? Was nigga, good. since nigga, I Renegade. Fuck, I was fucking with when Eminem. When he went ball to ball fucking, with... But what uh, I'm saying is he got respect in the hood from Renegade, nigga. I'm the last man but at standing the end of the day, drop into look, the Grand Canyon, hop out of the Trans Am and land in a handstand. And nigga, when Future Flavors is playing this, nigga, look, I'm look, like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> Why do niggas hate Eminem? Because he's white. Because he's white. That's it. It's clear. He's white. Now, we got down with Eminem. We done been called house niggas, all this, that. But at the end of the day, ain't nobody in my hood, my family, will free Yayo shirt at the Grammys and look out for me, nigga. Mm. And game, no disrespect for him. I remember he was in a little studio. Mm. And Trey and them niggas and 50 and them came to assist. So you can't say, Kanye did more for me. Game, you mad over the Super Bowl. Just be easy. Let's get yeah. the money. Just chill. I mean, that's they what didn't it looked like. They didn't want you there. That's what it looked like. It's cool. You, that's what it looked like. You that's scared of like. shit. Man, so there y'all have it, man. Yeah, yo. Keeps it all the way thorough. You know, he ain't just trying to kiss Eminem's ass, right? He's got real respect for Eminem lyrically um you know you heard him the, the whole conversation of a, a lot of individuals always say listen Eminem can rap he's talented but there's a lot of cats that just say I can't relate with his music it don't get bumped in the club it ain't get it don't get bumped in the hood comment and let me know um if, if you heard Eminem getting played where you were at when um you know you were coming up or Eminem was on his run or currently when the new stuff drops right I don't really I, ch I tap into the new stuff but not the same way as like the old stuff but Yayo you know like said that's not really true Eminem got respect when he went toe to toe with Hov on, on Renegade and that's a fact I, I remember that man I remember that getting a lot of play right before the blueprint dropped and there were a lot of new Eminem fans or if not fans a lot of new cats saying yo the white boy's dope man did you hear him go toe to toe with Jay that ish was crazy I think I said this before on a blog uh, you know this is back in the day of local terrestrial radio still being a big thing and the local radio station around my way played renegade and was like yo we gotta we gotta do it again and immediately spun it back to back like ish was that crazy man um i, I don't know why he took uh, royce off that i wonder if royce felt some way about that i wonder if that was like during the time where it wasn't really the m versus royce beef it was really more royce versus d twizzy and um you know m kind of got involved they weren't speaking to each other remember he said uh on that Malcolm X joint he said I'm telling people he ain't speaking to me like I'm one of his hoes or something how about this I ain't speaking to you but um you know yeah yo said aside from 50 cent Eminem looked out for him more than anyone in his whole life and that free yayo shirt was a game changer never forget right yayo was incarcerated when G-Unit was breaking through you know first 50 cent came through eminem listening to those uh mixtapes that's another thing too eminem just like when he signed griselda he was really looking for the next big acts in hip-hop and you know like what new dope stuff is coming out and signed 50 cent signed griselda and both of those deals um very favorable deals to the artists that's a whole nother thing well you know because some cats could say well yeah of course he wants to sign these artists he wants to make money off them listen everyone um is in this business to make money no matter what uh color you are right but real talk um those deals i've always heard and i've heard uh the artists say it themselves were very favorable deals for the artists and um you know 50 cent amazing rollout they had for his project to drop and um you know g-unit was there in the cut in the background and everything but after fifth got his debut it was all about g-unit and you know yayo unfortunately was locked up and eminem coming out with that free yayo shirt on was was game changer and next level for for yayo you know so you heard him he's like forever got love for eminem and i love that metaphor the way he put it you know what i'm saying uh, individuals are mad at Eminem because he's the black hockey player. That's crazy, man. But uh, that's going to do it for this one. Jay Coffee Talk. 
keeping y'all updated on this man this benzino ish surprising as it is all you know jump back off um man this ish has to stop man for zeno's health and his mental health i'm serious y'all think i'm joking i'm serious and um you know tony yayo on the on the beef with uh benzino and his love for eminem and respect i'm out of here let's talk in the comments peace